a long-retired warship, is moored on England's River Medway in Kent. Her unique paint job and her hull shape tell a story of wartime lies and deceit on a massive scale. This is HMS President. In the First World War, the greatest menace to Allied shipping was the formidable and elusive German U-boat. Merchant vessels were an easy target. The British needed a plan. The ships themselves were often done out in very proud British colors, but that gave anyone who wanted to attack them a very clear idea of exactly what ship it was. Once it became clear that that was helping U-boats, they had to think about other changes. Desperate measures were needed, and in 1917, inspiration came not from the world of naval architecture, but from an unlikely source. An idea came up which had been used by artists, young contemporary artists, Picasso, for instance, who were breaking up the lines of paintings and portraits and still lifes in order to show people a different view of what that object looked like. And the concept came about, well, what, you could do that with paintings, with bowls of fruit. You could do that with a ship so that it would confuse the U-boat captain as to which direction the ship was going, what speed was it going, and was there one ship or two ships or three ships? Because that was what was necessary for the U-boat captain in order to decide where to fire his torpedo. The man behind this extraordinary idea was an artist named Norman Wilkinson. He worked out that you could never completely camouflage a ship because the funnels would always give it away. But you could confuse the enemy by turning your ship into a floating Picasso. The technique became known as dazzle painting. The technique was unproven and hugely time consuming, but it was taken up on a massive scale. Merchant ships, warships, and troop ships were all painstakingly repainted in minute detail. 